um, yeah, our first year has been a stressful one regards to some other circumstances, but during those times we found that, you know, our local, our local MPs and some of the, the people within running, running New Zealand, right, are actually still, that humanitarian belief is still there and um, all the things that you hear about is actually, you know, it's actually true. You know, it's nice to know that people out there that still, still care about a family and not just, you know, what you bring to the table. So this, this is what the MP liked. So for other people that may be um, watching, there are many families that have challenges, health cha challenges and, and so on. So you, you had to overcome this compliance and they really got involved. Now, what I'm hearing you say, they're getting involved in the details of who you are and how you think almost. They're, they're almost studying the potential for you to come in. I mean, if they say no, it's going to be a painful thing. If they say yes, they have to justify it. Is that correct? Absolutely. I think, you know, it, it made a, a big difference in our lives, the fact that we um, were able to communicate with them one-on-one um, -on -one was important uh, and really stood out for us. The fact that they um, set up a meeting to meet with us um, as a couple and understand our circumstances and be able to talk through um, where we're coming from, where we see the challenges lie and how they can assist us in, in, in uh, if, if, uh, they were able to assist us. So that was the first thing is they actually set up a meeting to see is there an opportunity and what would the opportunity bring, number one, and you know, how would we actually tackle this 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 um process that was lying ahead of us. Um and I think that to us was very, very important. I made a lot of phone calls to a lot of people, I've sent a lot of emails, I've contacted ex um Ministers, if I say ex-ministers, basically from previous government many years ago, that was um, basically minister of of immigration, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, who is now uh, more legal advisors, etc. Um, they gave us a lot of information. They gave us a lot of feedback, and the general consensus were: you've sort of come to the end of the road. You've now hit the cul de sac. There's no no way forward, and because we kept on looking for opportunities. We knew that what we were bringing, um, we could showcase that there was no cost to, to the country. Um, there was no medical history. There was no, so there's a lot of things worked in our favor because yeah. we could show exactly. And by being transparent from our side, uh, from our side uh, and put all the cards on the table, um, we had nothing to hide. We said, this is a family member that's got challenges. That's the way we see it forward. And um, they were quite open and accommodating to it right away because they looked at the history and not just what is written black and white on a piece of paper and say, these are the guidelines. Um, and exactly that's the way they actually looked at it and say, it's merely a guideline. It's not, um, you know, set in stone. Um, and once again, as you said, you didn't need to pay anybody. You didn't need to try and convince people yeah. that, you know, it's the right thing. They looked at it and say, it makes sense what we're trying to achieve. It makes sense for us as a family. It might sense for the businesses that we're working for. It might sense for the country um, of what we're trying to do and what we're bringing to the table in the country. And that made a huge difference in our lives.